death and survive. In fact, it might give us the secrets to life. See, and I think I can, and I think you can too. See, and I think I can, and I think you can too. Now, this is a story that we can all relate. A topic so crucial there is no debate. It's about little fish in a stream. It's actually us if you know what I mean. Singing, I think I can, and I think you can too. Singing, I think I can, and I think you can too. Singing, I think I can, and I think you can too. Our story begins at a creek in the rough, where we see two stream keepers measuring stuff. Along comes our hero, talking with friends. They have a big problem, but how will it end? I think I can. the humans are measuring dissolved oxygen in the creek. <laughs> yes, uh, my gills are telling me it's the oxygen level is around 76.7%. Not good for us fish. Dissolved oxygen is at 74.8%. That's not good. Well, those humans are getting pretty good at their measurements, aren't they? <laughs> The dissolved oxygen is getting worse and worse as the texture of the stream goes. Uh, oxygen goes down. And that's a big problem for the fish. Well, we can check the stream temperature. Well, Seventy-eight degrees. That's much too warm for 9.30 in the morning at this time of year. Yeah, just about 78 degrees. Those folks do a good job. <laughs> we can check the air temperature now. Okay. What you got? Uh, 83 degrees. It will be a lot warmer in the afternoon. Temperatures like that really affect the environment in all kinds of ways wildfires, drought, and more. Well, at least air temperature is one issue we don't have to worry about. Maybe that's true, Fry, but in the short term only, because in the long run, everything on this earth is interconnected. Warm air leads to warm water. And if it gets really hot like it did last year, it'll just dry up the creek bed completely. And that wouldn't be good for us. I get it. Lugs or gills, we're all in this together. That's right. That was the last of our water quality measuring. Let's pack up all right. and head out. Hey, Tilly, how are things in the air breathing world? great with me, but you guys look kind of worried. Is there something wrong? Two stream keepers were here. They're doing their monthly water testing. The water's getting warmer. Of course, that's no surprise to us. But it started us worrying about the next couple of years. It's not easy being a salmon. There used to be a lot more of us here in Lion Creek. A lot more. Salmon are having a tough time all around. It's a little easier on us kokanee because we don't migrate farther than Lake Washington. Things are getting really tough on ocean-going salmon, though. They have to deal with problems in the local streams and the lake and the ocean. Yeah, even when the creek water is good, a lot of us salmon never make it back up to spawn. Oh, you got birds, you got fishermen, fisherwomen. We have otters and orcas who will just eat us up. And planes. Yeah. That's right, in place. Yeah. Make a mistake, and you're someone's dinner. Keeps us on our toes, as you humans say. Sure. Warm, polluted water creates a whole new set of dangers.
and that really makes me sad. If I get eaten, I get eaten. I mean, I get it. I eat little things too, little microorganisms. I can live with that. Well, metaphorically speaking, I have a chance against predators, but there's nothing I can do about pollution and warm water. We don't know what to do, Tilly. Well, you know, we people in Lake Forest Park, we really care about the earth. We have the Lake Forest Park Stewardship Foundation, and that's what it's all about. They have the stream keepers to test the creeks, and the new city's new climate action committee is working on reducing our carbon footprint. Even the kids are involved. My sister's in high school, and she's in an environmental group. Tilly, that's, that's great, and that's well and good, but you finless folk, you really have to step up your game. Because if things get worse, Three years now, when fry are coming back upstream to spawn, we may find the water quality is so bad, we can't come home. No, I won't let that happen to my friends. I won't let that happen. Well, it's getting hot right now, so we need to swim off and find a cooler spot. Oh, Tilly, please do everything you can to help. I, I, I don't know what I can do to help. I don't even know how to get started. She always lets me go in her yard anytime I want to go down to the creek. I'll go see her now. 
Great. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Ate some cookies today. Would you like some? Uh, well, thanks, but no, actually, I came to talk to you about Lion Creek. The salmon are having a hard time surviving because of the bad water conditions. Well, right now I'm fertilizing my lawn. I fertilize and sprayed weed killer so that my lawn will be nice and green throughout the summer. <laughs> so that's what you're doing? Yes, I know that the salmon are having a hard time according to the water conditions these days. But you know, my mother told me that when she was a little girl and she lived in this very same house, that the, lion, that the fish in Lion Creek were so thick that they were bouncing against each other as they swam up the stream to spawn. In fact, it was so loud you could hear it inside the house. That is amazing. I can't believe there were so many fish used to be here, and that wasn't even that long ago. But it sure is different today. You know, um, some of that fertilizer and uh, weed killer you're using, it might be getting into the creek, and that's not so good for the salmon. Well, Tilly, I've always cherished my lawn. <laughs> you know, but I guess I never thought about chemicals getting into the stream. Uh, I think, uh, you know, small changes do add up. Tilly, I think this is too big a problem for a young kid like you. You should be out with other kids, playing games, having fun. Yeah, maybe, but, you know, if I don't help now, it would be really awful if the salmon just completely disappeared. Oh, that would be really sad, Tilly. But you know what? i got to keep spraying my weeds. See you later. Good luck. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks, Gretchen. You're welcome. Alvin. I'm not having very much success so far. My friend Carlos is too, isn't interested at all, and my dad is too busy, and Gretchen is mostly concerned about her green lawn. Dilly, don't give up. Sam and never give up. We never stop trying to get back to our spawning grounds. We know all there is to know about determination. Yes, Tilly, please don't give up. We encounter all kinds of problems as we swim upstream to spawn. In fact, when there's a steep rise in the steam bed, stream bed, or a huge log in our path, we gather up all our strength and make the big jump. Make the big jump. And if we don't make it, we try and we try and we try again. And if the water is so shallow and there's just gravel, we take our fins and we scratch and scratch until we can get to deeper water and swim again. That's right. I'll tell you what we say to ourselves and to our buddies when we face each obstacle, even those that look impossible. We say, I think I can, I think I can, and then we go for it. After we've gotten past the obstacle, we take great pride in what we've achieved. And we yell out, I knew I could, I knew I could. And that gives us confidence. And, you know, it actually gives confidence to the ones coming up behind us, too. I think I remember a children's story that taught the same lesson. I think I can, I think I can. That sounds like an old salmon story. Maybe your friendly salmon shared that idea with a human storyteller. Tilly, you may be young, but I know you can accomplish a lot. Just try saying to yourself, I think I can. I think I can. I can. Uh, maybe. Julie, do you believe you can make a difference? It's all courage, Tilly. I, I, I think I can. Tilly, can you make a difference? I think I can. All you folks in the audience, can you make a difference? I think I can. Can, can you, yes. each and every one of you, make a difference? Tell us. I, I think, think I can. can. One more time. Everyone, do you think you can make a difference? I think I can! We're counting on you. Tilly, it's time for us to head downstream and into Lake Washington. 
This will be the last time you see Alvin and me for three years. Then, if we're lucky, we'll be grown salmon and we'll find our way back home to our spawning grounds in Lion Creek. We'll have a wonderful adventure in Lake Washington. I'm going to miss you. It won't be the same without you in Lion Creek. Promise me you'll make it back. Oh, Tilly, we'll miss you too. We can only promise that we will try. We'll try very hard to survive. Salmon always do. I will try very hard to keep my promise, too. Lion Creek will be better in three years. And it will keep getting better. Just like a salmon, I will overcome one obstacle at a time. Alvin and I plan to swim together. We'll have each other's backs and dorsal fins, too. If one of us gets lost on the way back to Lion Creek, the other one will be there to point the way. Let's take a bite of the humans, Fry. Goodbye, Bye, humans. humans. Bye. Bye. Now I need to get to work. But how do I start? It seems that our lives are so busy. We all have our priorities. But this is so truly important. How can she get them to see? Oh, come back, come back. They want to come back up the stream to spawn. Three years from now, they're worried their creek will be gone. She loves her dear friends in the forest. And friends help each other in need. Yes, they do. And although she's just one little person, they're counting on her to succeed. Oh, come back, come back. They want to come back up the stream to spawn. Three years from now, they're worried the creek will be gone. How's it going, sis? Ah, I'm glad to see you here, Millie. You know, um, I got into this thing. I made a promise to make things better at Lion Creek for the salmon for my salmon friends. Um, you know, if conditions there get any worse, they may not have any salmon at all living in our streams. But I don't have a clue how to help them. Well, Tilly, you've come to the right place. Olivia knows a lot about environmental issues, and I'm learning a ton, too. Come on, let's talk about it. Hey, that's it. Planting trees to provide shade for the creek is a great idea. Tilly, I heard the city has, has money to buy some young trees. What they don't have is the money to hire people to plant them. How about if you organize a group of volunteers to do the planting and our group will organize from school to talk with people who live by the creeks about not misusing fertilizer and weed killers? Oh, uh, well, you guys are terrific. But, you know, I'm not even a high school student. Do you think uh, adults are going to listen to me and take me seriously? Olivia, I think maybe you should take over the tree planting. Millie and our friends will do our part, but you should organize the tree planting and lead it up. Tilly, you've got this started. You're the perfect person to carry it through. You can do it, Tilly. I know you can. Yes, I know what I'm supposed to say. I think I can lead this project. I think I can. With everyone working together, I think we and again to make a difference for our fish friends. Three weeks have passed. The city has provided the trees. The high schoolers have talked to the stream side neighbors about best practices. Tilly, Millie, and Olivia have been working very hard. Today is finally tree planting day at Lion Creek. Let's go. Dad will be meeting us at the creek. He's walking over with Gretchen. 
Maybe I can help with drones. Maybe a fleet of drones could lead the salmon back upstream. <laughs> or maybe drones with uh, powerful lasers could zap the plastics out in the ocean. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be something? It sure would, Carlos. Keep at it. Hey, Tilly. A group of high school students came over today and they talked to me about protecting the stream and it was amazing. For now on, I'm just going to use a tiny bit of fertilizer, I'm going to spray my weeds with vinegar, or I'm going to pull them out and this won't harm the fish. Plus, I'm going to plant some really nice shrubs and a lovely tree to shade the creek. I don't need such a large green lawn because now I have a better sense of what's really beautiful, healthy salmon swimming in a stream. That is great, Gretchen. I'm so happy. Salmon. Thank you. Tilly? Millie? This is... This is Arnie. He's a Lake Forest Park stream keeper. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Arnie and I have been having conversations lately. I'm going to volunteer. And I'm going to help Arnie at the next water quality testing stream Times keeper event. Yeah. 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 That is super, Bob. <laughs> and I'm going to speak at okay. Jen's upcoming business meeting and tell them about why good Good water and fresh water streams are good for the economy. Yay! Great. Thank you. Hey, Billy, have you noticed, you noticed Dad is really different lately? Yes. Dad always is so busy. He never has time for anything, and look at him now. He looks so happy. And he and Gretchen <laughs> seem to share a new interest in the environment that will surely help Elvin and Fry. Absolutely. Listen, everybody, thank you. Thank you for coming today. Thank you all for coming today. As my fish friends once said, lungs or gills, we are in this together. So today, we worked on improving the water conditions at Lion Creek to bring us a step closer in helping the salmon. Are we happy? and there's a lot more we can do. No matter who you are, there's always something that can be done, big or small. Oh, when you face an obstacle that seems like it's impossible, I forget the line, but that's okay. Just say, I think I can. Oh, you and me. Washington, three years from now, 
With all the work we've done, and with their strong determination, I know they will return to Lion Creek. I just know they can. Do you remember not so long ago? All the creeks teeming with fish, don't you know? The climate is changing and so must we all. And you can take part if you're bigger, you're small. Singing, I think I can and I think you can too. Singing, I think I can and I think you can too. We'll talk to our families, we'll talk to our friends. We'll tell them the story of how it could end. When we work together, we're unstoppable. From difficult tasks to the impossible. Singing, I think I can and I think you can too. Singing, I think I can and I think you can too. Story of one little town. How come they got up every time they're knocked down? When you're in doubt, simply stick to the plan and say it loud and clearly. I